In this next video, we're gonna go over the, the basic channel strip. And the channel strip is a really fancy term for a channel. So basically, let's go to um, Alex's microphone. And so we're selected on Alex. Um, and this allows us to see uh, what channel we're selected on, a uh, meter that shows the input level of his microphone, and I don't have his microphone turned on right now, so I can't really give a good example of, you know, how this would act uh, maybe during worship. Um, your LCD screen, your solo, your mute, and then your fader. And the fader, you know, is basically a fancy vol volume control. Um, and every channel strip, you can see a good a example of this over here on the home page of any individual channel. Uh, this might look like a whole lot going on, but it's really, really simple once you break it down into what indi individual things do. So uh, you have a home channel, which is an overview. Uh, you have your configuration uh, page, which sees your input level, um, your gain, and you'll have to watch the gain video to get an, uh, a good example of how to set that up. Um, your low cut, there's another video on that one. Your source, um, I'll go through routing and explain how the routing system works, um, which is more of a complex topic to talk about for, uh, you know, over, no, just to make an overview video of all the routing. Um, you got your delay, which is another advanced uh, subject. Um, insert effects uh, and sends. So let's start off with the gate. The gate, uh, and these are going to be really, really quick overviews of what these things do, because I'll be making individual videos on each, you know, piece of the channel strip. Uh, so you can kind of think of this as a channel strip 101 uh, lesson. Uh, the gate is this section right here on the bottom left underneath the gain, and right next to the dynamic section, or compressor if you want to call it that. Uh, so the gate... Think of this as a door that only opens up to let sound through once the volume reaches a certain level. And that's a, a pretty very, very simplified version of what a gate does. But let's say, say it's a, you know, a, a door that, or a, maybe even like a, uh, a, a gate, it's for lack of better terms, a gate, uh, that opens up when the volume reaches a certain level. So duh, and the gate opens. But otherwise, until that reach is a certain volume, the gate will be closed. And it'll essentially be muted. So you can see on his, we have a, a, at a very, very low level. Uh, the gate can be active at a higher level. Um, I prefer to have vocals at a pretty low level, just because I know that the only reason a gate would be active on a vocal channel is because there might be a buzz in the system coming from that microphone that, you know, is, whether it's from a bad cable or a bad microphone. But I always keep the gate on, uh, on most channels at a very, very, very low level. So this one's negative 75 uh, decibels, and that could be fine for most channels. Next up is the dynamics, and this is a, another word for dynamics is a compressor, because it allows you to take the volume levels of an instrument or a, uh, a singer and kind of squash them down uh, that way their quiets aren't as quiet and their louds aren't, you know, piercing. So you take the entire volume level of a sound and squish it and then raise the volume of that entire se uh, sound. Uh, again, there will be another video on that one. And as the EQ section, I've already been over a couple of uh, lessons on this and I'll have a separate vocal uh, EQ section, uh, EQ video later on. But... Um, go back to your home page and you can see the, the routing of this. So from, from left to right, you have your inputs, gate, EQ, dynamics, um, your sends, then your outputs, as well as an input, uh, input effects, uh, insert effects, but you know, we'll get, that to, get to that later. Uh, like I said, we've already been over the gain, gate, dynamics, equalizer. Now let's go on to sends. Let's say you have uh, some effects that you want uh, to send vocals to, or maybe another instrument, um, like a reverb. You can say, okay, we have a reverb on channel one, and uh, effects, this is kind of a, it's not an insert effect, which means that it's actually just on this channel. 
it is a, uh, a send. So you send a little bit of the signal uh, to an effect unit back to uh, the channel strip. And uh, that's kind of what the send is. It allows you to uh, take a signal from you know, the channel that you're selected on and send it to another channel where it, further processing might be able to take place. Like, um, you know, reverb is a good example because it's very, very common. And then from there, you go to your main outputs and you have the mono, which uh, I believe your system is just mono. So, you know, once you guys, if you guys upgrade to a, maybe a stereo or a left, uh, center, right setup um, down the road, this might be something you'll want to look into more. Uh, but everything should be sent out to the main left and right bus. And a bus is basically anything that sums multiple channels into fewer channels. So this is a main stereo bus. So technically it should be uh, left and right. But because I think you guys have a mono system, I don't know if I've cleared that, cleared that up with Fred or you know, anyone else. Uh, I believe it's a mono uh, system. So basically you have to make sure this button's turned on for a signal to go through you know, the house or the, the main system, the main speakers. And that in a nutshell is the um, you know, channel strip. Uh, just know that every channel that you can select has its own set of channel strip settings. So right now I'm on Alex and I'll go over to um, you know, Josiah. So I go from Alex to Josiah and the system, I mean, these, these cut off, these turned off. Um, so this automatically updates to show you what is active and set up for that one channel. So I'll go back to Alex and you see that his settings were called. Go to Josiah and let's even go down to, um, you know, drums. So the drums have their own settings and uh, of course I'll make videos on individual pieces of this um, and next up I'll be getting into more detail on the gate.